Hi everyone, welcome back to our series on fixing performance management. Forgive me for poo-pooing performance management. I'm in the industry, but it needs fixing. And I figured out a way to fix it, and I want to share it with you. Performance management is good for one thing, and that is to pay people for performance. There is not a company out there that will not do this, especially private companies, where they pay you based on your performance. Unfortunately, what most people do is they're, they pay based on a rating, whether it's one to five, one to three, great, good, average, and that is a rating. And that is extremely subjective and it doesn't work. So performance management, we want to be able to pay for performance. And frankly, there's no way around it. Your compensation team will never allow you to separate performance from pay. It just won't happen. If you figure it out, let me know. So what do we do? The way to have clarity for compensation to pay exactly what they know they need to pay and to dramatically increase fairness and dramatically reduce bias is to pay based on goal achievement. The issue is most organizations do not have goals. And if you're setting goals, it's easier to measure. And if you're not setting goals, it's impossible. So as a result, you give them a number from one to five. And as a result, the employee is frustrated because they had no idea how they were doing all year long. But if they set goals up front, they'll have a better idea of why they're being paid something or not. So here's the trick. Pay performance management is about pay for performance. So what you need to do is have your teams, your organization set goals. That's a whole other topic. Have them set goals and then have a very clear link between pay and goal achievement or lack of goal achievement. And that is the way forward when, it's, when it comes to performance management. Do not include growth in performance management conversations. Growth and learning requires massive courage and courage does not exist during performance management programs or conversations. And the reason for that, and this is most, some organizations, they call them teal organizations. They figured out a way to have uh, growth and performance linked together, but it's just too hard. I've tried, it doesn't work. Growth will come at another time and that will be part of another series. Performance is about achieving goals and growth is a separate exercise a place where you have psychological safety to no holds barred, vagabond pursuit of being your best self, which is outside of your performance management program. Thank you very much.